Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to another one of my Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battles. Today there is no team preview, I don't know why, I fancy the change, and I'm also trying out some new rendering and capturing settings using DX Tori instead of Camtasia, so all that sort of technical stuff. Anyway, really quick intro, so there's a BU battle against Lama Supreme, I'll leave a link to his Twitter or YouTube if he has a YouTube channel, I can't remember, in the description below. Um, anyway, it's a BU battle, which is Dundee's kind of variation of PU now. Um, I start with Electivire wanting to go for the Volt Switch, knowing like, he doesn't have a ground type. Uh, Volt Switch would be pretty good, giving me switch initiative pretty early on in the game. I go into Hippopotas on purpose to try and bait him into going for the Grass move. Um, and bring in Stantler to get the Sap Sipper. And I think it turns out he doesn't actually realise that I have Sap Sipper at this moment, so that was just pure luck. He went for the Reflect. He obviously felt that was more important to do rather than trying to kill my Hippopotas and not get rocks up, even though he has a Rapid Spinner too. Anyway, I bring in my Ball Rain at this point because obviously Hippopotas will not appreciate a school from a War Turtle. Um, and I take that school amazingly well in 14 damage. And after leftovers, it's pretty much like it never happened. So he actually goes to protect here as I go for the Toxic, which um, I felt was an, a dodgy play if he'd have predicted that. He would have brought in his Haunter, and that would have been really problematic. Because Haunter is a brilliant Pokemon in BU, it's got such a high speed and special attack, and that's what you look for in special attacker. I go for the Ice Beam, expecting him to want to switch into the Haunter, which he does have, completely forgetting he has a Polyrath. And I go for the Encore, expecting him to want to go for the Substitute and be faster, but I'm actually faster, which surprises me, to be honest. But luckily for me, Superior, my Superior, gets bought in after the Circle Throw, and I can just go for the Swords Dance to turn the physically offensive variant with Knock Off, Leaf Blade, and Aqua Tail, all for that nice uh, coverage. I haven't actually like got this thing to sort of its max potential yet, I haven't actually had a chance to really do damage to teams, but that knockoff did quite a lot of damage. I know this thing's probably specially defensive, um, but it's got no leftovers, so it's pretty much forced to start leech seeding if it wants to get some recovery, or it might have a synthesis, which is I'm hoping it has leech seed at this point. There again, I'm expecting him to want to go for like a, um, well, I don't know what he wanted to do, because I was a grass type, so I don't know why I was expecting grass type move. Um, I bring in Hippopotas though, to take this Dodrio's attack. And that Dodrio is Choice Bander, which I figure out later in the game, so I take that return pretty well. I give the Slack off, expecting him to want to switch, or if he wanted to go for another return, I could just recover all my health back and play that Stolly game. But he does bring in War Turtle, which is a smart play to make, because then he obviously gets Switch Initiative again. And I'm on the back foot at this moment, and he managed to get a Toxic off on my, um, on what's called War Rain, that's the one. Um, which obviously isn't good, because he's my specially defensive War, and he checks this War Turtle pretty well. Um, and it's a nice thing to have around. So I do decide to switch here into my Electro Buzz just so I can start getting some offensive momentum again. And the switch initiative does change this turn because he brings in Polyrath here, luckily for me. Um, he wanted to try and kill my Wall Rain, but I go into my Electro Buzz. Now he brings in Meganium, but I'm obviously going to Volt Switch because it's the best thing I can do at this point with this thing left around. And I'm going to bring in my Swagma, my Magma, just to scare this thing off with some fire moves. I'm just going to play safe and go for it. Um, in case he over-predicted and thought I was going to predict his switch into War Turtle, but that flamethrower doesn't do too bad considering this is an I like War Turtle and I'm guessing it's max defense and not max special defense and his special defensive wall is his Meganium. Kind of confirms it at that point. Um, I bring in my wall rain though, kind of thinking one, I can take the school and two, um, it's probably the most expendable thing on my team right now as it's at lower health than everyone else and it's poisoned. So um, that was my thought process. He does switch here into Floyd, which is his Mr. Mime. Uh, probably wanted to start using Charge Beam. I go for the Ice Beam though, expecting him to want to switch because um, he doesn't want to take a Toxic. Could have protected that turn to get more Toxic damage off on me, which actually in hindsight would have really helped him. As you'll see here, he goes to the Charge Beam because Wall Rain is so bulky. I do live. If he just stayed in with that one more turn of Toxic using Protect, he might have actually been able to take down my Wall Rain without me doing this much damage to his Mr. Mime. Which, uh, in turn, I think I can actually kill it on the next turn with my Scarf uh, Electabuzz. So at this stage, at uh, this battle, it's kind of like, you know, I'll, I'll let him kill something on my team, but I can immediately revenge kill. Um, and Electivire is a brilliant revenge killer in this tier, it has to be said. Um, I do go for the Volt Switch. I could lock myself into Thunderbolt at this stage and uh, sort of force him to make a certain switch. You can't bring in Polyrath, you can't bring in Dodrio. Um, but I do go for the Volt Switch and bring in Superior because it's the thing I can kind of hit everything with the most. You have the Knock Off, and here I learned something. I didn't know if you knock off a Focus Sash. Focus Sash takes effect before you knock it off. So uh, it'll always live, and he just Revenge killed me with a Sludge Bomb, which sucks. 
to be honest. <laughs> the knockoff did a load though, and it does mean if I can get rocks up, he's dead, basically. Um, in comes Bobarito though, and I expected that and go for the Volt Switch, because it's the obvious play. And now I can bring in my Magmar again. And I know he's got War Tortle around still, but uh, I'm just going to continue to go for the fire moves because I want this Meganium dead. And as soon as this War Tortle goes, his Meganium goes because he can't really take any more hits. Um, that Flame Bro didn't do too bad, to be honest. And uh, now I'm actually just going to stay and go for the Focus Blast, try and kill this thing off, but I don't quite manage it. Even the modest Life Orb, it doesn't take it out. And he does go for this Gordon and it kills me, which I was quite surprised about. I thought I might be able to live with one because it's defensive. But it's now at such a low health range where I can just go for the Volt Switch and kill it. Um, so now I'm really getting in the swing of things. I think he has got sort of he has got the um, mathematical lead, but I feel with Electire still around at such HP, I still have a really good chance of winning. Because his Pokemon will die to a lot of electric type moves at this stage. I do still have Hippopotas around, which I'm gonna bring in. He does go for the Brave Bird. And um, it does over half, which is really annoying, just over half two, um, which means it's going to be a two hit KO, so I decide to leave myself in to die, so he gets a lot of recoil off, and at this stage I can bring in my Elect Buzz, and this is where I find out he's Choice Banded, because if he's Choice Scarfed, I'm pretty sure it'll outspeed. speed, um, but he switches, so, I mean, well, at this point I'm assuming he's not Scarfed, because he switched out, and Brave Bird would have done a lot of damage, maybe killed me, although Electric does resist flying. Uh, in comes Bobarito, and at this point I've locked myself into Thunderbolt, I should have just gone for Volt Switch. And Thunderbolt doesn't take him out, he gets the Synthesis, which is really annoying. So uh, this is where the moment, this is where the play happens that that turns the game in my favour, I believe, personally. Uh, I bring in my Stantler, which has Sap Zipper, and I now get to plus one. I go for the Mega Horn, and that damage is going to be enough to take it out. So non-stab, um, but I am plus one, and Mega Horn is obviously a really powerful move. Um, at this point he brings in his Ed Ed and Eddie, his Totrio, and I stay in and I die to a return. I'll die, so all this Pokemon are at a range where I can kill it with Thunderbolt as long as I outspeed them all. Um, I do outspeed though Drio, which means he is not scarfed, he is banded, and if he is, uh, I'm faster somehow. Um, in comes Polyrath, which isn't going to die to the initial Thunderbolt. He goes for the Waterfall here, I don't know why. Um, I'm I really don't know why he went for the waterfall. He could have gone for something else. I don't know if he has a stronger move. Um, but Thunderbolt does take it out. And um, is that the last Pokemon? Yeah, it is. Um, good game, Lama. I really enjoyed that. Hopefully.